a 16,000 kilowatt geothermal plant. That looks like our turbine work. Has a generator and turbine efficiency of 90 and 80 percent, respectively. EG is 0.9, ET is 0.8. If the quality after throttling is 20%, it's our X, and each well discharges 400,000 kilograms per hour. That's called a capacity of our well. Determine the number of wells required to produce if the change of enthalpy at entrance and exit of turbine is 500 kilojoules per kilogram. Delta H. And we need to find the number of wells. Let's say that's N. Okay, so first let's try drawing our problem. This is a geothermal power plant. This is the ground. This is the well. This is the water, this is one, then there's the steam separator right here, and then, oops, sorry, this is supposed to be here, then here is where the steam gets separated, that goes into the turbine. And then this is the part that leaves the turbine. This is our generator. So here we have M sub S. Here we have M sub G. For groundwater, I believe. So, knowing this, we do know that the formula for the turbine work is equal to the mass of the steam that's flowing in. And in this case, the enthalpy difference is H3 minus H4. And we're also given our gener generator and turbine efficiencies, so let's also write those down. And we do have all of these values already. Delta H is simply H3 minus H4. EG is given, ET is given, so we are able to find our mass flow rate of steam. And this should give us 44.4 kilograms of steam per second. Now notice we are working on a kilo kilogram per hour basis. So if we multiply this by 3,600, we will arrive at a value of 160,000 kilograms of steam per hour. Okay. But well, we can't really use this yet because we need to find mg. This is what we're extracting from the well. So to find mg, m sub s is merely its percentage. x m sub g. So m sub s is... Uh, this one, 160,000 kilograms per hour, and X is 0 0.20. So in actuality, we would be getting 800,000 kilograms of groundwater per hour. So next, to determine our number of wells, N is simply equal to mg over the capacity of our well. And we already have both of these right here and right here. So we just need to put our values in. These are the same units, so they cancel out, and we end up needing two wells to produce 16,000 kilowatts of power for this power plant. I hope this helped.
consider supporting me on Patreon. Subscribe and like if this helped you, and I will see you in the next one.